my guys. So it's experiment time. Let's do another experiment. Let's see. Let's see some stuff. What you're going to see here is uh, two tomato plants, two tomato plants, two tomato plants, two tomatillos, two tomatillos, two tomatillos. So three tomatillos, three tomato plants. And we're going to look at uh, fertilization, different fertilization techniques for the plants. So I have each one labeled U, F, C, U, F, C. So the C is our control plant. I'm just going to water this plant and, you know, keep a good eye on it just like I would any of these other plants. The next plant, the F plant, is going to be fertilized with uh, there's a big garden center around here called Al's. This is their all-purpose fertilizer, and it says in the back that it's great for veggies and gives directions and all that. I usually don't use fertilizers like this, and you can tell by the label. God, it's old, right? It's one of those printed ones that they stuck on with a printer thing. And then this, can you guess what that's going to be? You got it. Urine. Human urine. So if you haven't uh, read the Humanure composting book, I think you'll find it interesting. And I've done uh, experiments like this before just on grass plants, and it's pretty interesting. So just think about it like this. Grid down situation or coronavirus, or I can't say that. Uh, something sick happens in the world or sickness happens, and you really can't go anywhere. Um, what are you going to use for fertilizer? And there are limited things you can use. You know, you can amend your soil with ash. You can um, do a few other things, you know, coffee grounds, blah, blah, blah. But if you need a real fertilizer with nitrogen and phosphorus, you're going to need something that has the appropriate levels of fertilization, and human urine does. So human urine, what we're going to do is a uh, 10 to 1 ratio, one part urine to 10 parts water. Fertilizer, I'm going to follow the directions, which I believe is one scoop of this crap in a gallon of water. And then the control is just going to get water and love. Urine, fertilizer, control. And uh, we'll just leave them out here and, and see what happens. So interesting. I know it might gross you out, but the more knowledge you have, the better prepared you're going to be for life. And if something really bad did happen, you could definitely uh, use a resource that you have plenty of. So thanks, you guys. And uh, keep your eyes peeled for follow-up videos.